Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I'm going to take a look to some uh, filament PHP form fields. If you go to the form field and here we have a fields here, get it started. And we have this example with a text input. And we have seen this in our project. So if I open here the state uh, resource, here we have inside the return form schema, we have this forms components text input make country id and this is auto generated with a flag but we don't need text input for the country id we are going to add a select here and we have a text input for the name which here we are okay now i'm going to show you i have copy from this repository from this user and laravel country state city seats migration the countries table sitter states table sitter and city table sitter so if i open them here so i'm going to open the country first sitter and in this country sitter we have the id code name and phone code i have added also in the migration of the country so if i open the countries migration i have added the char code and phone code because here we have the code and also the phone code. Now let's open the state seeder and here we have a state seeder with name and the country ID because the state belongs to the country and also let's open the city seeder with name and state ID because the city belongs to the state ID. I just downloaded a copy from here because I want to populate the country, state and city. Now as you can see here the country we have 246 results and on the country we don't see anything because we have added to the table but if we go to the state here we have the name and the country ID also for the city because we have generated the resources with the flag. Okay now uh, let's go to the state and let's go to the new state here we have country ID and I said to you we need here to add the select not a text input numeric okay so let's add the select form components and let's say select here now the select component allow you to select from a list of uh, predefined options here we have select make uh, let's remove this first and I'm going to add again so I'm going to say uh, select for status and we don't need now the numeric we need to remove that because this is not a text input and here we need to chain the options so let's say options uh, active and inactive if I save this so here is the select make status and we added the options which is an array with active and inactive now if i come here and refresh as you can see here we have status and select option we have active and inactive by default the filament uses the native html5 select but uh, you may enable a more customizable javascript select using the native method and specifying false there so here in this select we have chain options and let's chain also the native method like this and let's say false as we can see expect in a boolean now if i come here and refresh now we have this uh, kind of options if you don't like that you can say this the true but this is by default true so it's a html5 select and we have this html5 select now this is up to you if you want if you don't want you can remove and stick to the html5 now because here we need we don't need the status but we need the country id and here we need to have a relationship because the state belongs to the country so here let's add the country id okay now let's remove this option and let's chain here the relationship 
method. And as you can see, expect in the name and also the title attribute. So let's say here uh, the name, for example, name, which is going to be country. We don't have this relationship yet in the state model. So let's open the state model right here. Yeah, we have empty state. So let's say first protected dollar sign fillable. And we have here the country ID. and also the name and let's close this and then let's create the public function country relationship and let's say this return this belong to the country class also let's say here is uh, belong to relationship let's save and now here we have name country which is the country relationship we created and also the title attribute so let's say here title attribute and for the title attribute i'm going to say the name of the country so let's save this and let's open now if i refresh yeah as you can see we have country and select an option but here now we have all the countries now you may enable a search input to allow user access to many options using the searchable method so here now we can chain the searchable and let's say the condition is by default true come here and refresh and if i select as you can see start typing the search so for example greece yeah we have greece also we can add uh, the multiple method to allow us to select multiple values from this uh, list of options so let's come here and let's say multiple like this and if i save and refresh let's select greece greenland and so on as you can see now we have a multiple select but because we have a this is going to belong to one country i'm going to remove that but as you can see if i refresh and for example uh we have empty here and now it's going to search we can add also the preload here if you like to populate the searchable option from the database when the page is loaded so instead of when the user search you can use the preload method to populate this before we type in okay so let's refresh one more time and let's see yeah we don't have uh, countries here but if we added the preload method let's save and let's come here and refresh again now as you can see we have preload all the countries and if we filter by greece yeah we are okay here we have the name which is good we added the required and let's copy this because we are going to do the same also on the city so let's open the city resource and here we have a state id but we need to add that select and we need to say state now because the city belongs to the state id the relationship is going to be state and the title attribute is going to be the name let's save and let's open also the city model and create the relationship so let's say here protected first dollar sign fillable name and the state id then let's create the relationship public function state and return this belong to the state class also let's say here belong our relationship let's save let's close let's remove that and let's save this and we have the city new city and here we have a state and the name good then the state is okay the country new employees yeah here we need to add also to create the form so let's copy this and let's open the country resource here 
let's paste the text input for the name also for the code and one more for the phone code so let's say here phone code now the code is going to be max length of uh, three and for the phone code is going to be the max length of five and also it's going to be number numeric so let's say here numeric let's save let's go to the country and refresh now we have the name phone code and the code here let's go to the department new department yeah we have only the name users employees now for the employees we have the first name last name middle name the address and zip code and also the date and also here we have the section but if we open the employees so let's open the employees migration we have also the country ID, state city and department so let's add that in uh, resource so for what i'm going to do is copy this one and i'm going to paste it right here and i'm going to make columns to be true and then let's open the state resource and copy this select component and paste it here paste one for the country one for the state one for the city and one for the department and let's change that so let's say you're not yeah this is for the country okay this is going to be for the state this is going to be for the city and this is going to be for the department and let's see on the browser now if i refresh we don't have the relationship yeah we need to go and create that so let's open the employee model and here let's create the relationship i'm going to say protected to be dollar sign guarded here i'm going to add guarded to be equal with an empty array and then let's create the relationship for the department okay and this is going to be uh, belong to a relationship then create the public function country also this one is going to be belong to a relationship return this country the state and the city so let's copy and paste down there for the state and for the city let's change this the state and also this the city now here we need to add the city model and on the state we need to add the state model let's save and let's see on the browser what we have now if i refresh okay as we can see here we have a country state city and department and yeah we have a preload all of them but what we need is if i select uh, for example this country i want to have here only the states belong to this uh, country and then if we select a state here i want to, to have listed all of the cities belong to that state so we need a dependent drop down and that's what we are going to build in the next video okay friends that's it all about this video also i'm going to fix the behind the scenes i'm going to add a section for the country form also for the state and city behind the scenes because i not i don't want to take you so much time we have done that with the employees employee and we need to change that from a username here let's say relationship okay let's remove the description and let's save come here and refresh okay that's it all about this video now don't forget if you like such videos subscribe to my channel share with your friends uh, like the video and see you in the next one all the best